Right, before you get anything out of the boxes on the, sm on the Spooky, before you open any of the boxes, um, you need to go to the Spooky website, which is um, spooky2.com downloads. And as you pull down, you get to the full package. You click on the, the you click on the Spooky Two Starter Pack, and it will come. It will download. You really prefer to have Windows Seven. I wouldn't run it on Windows Ten because it doesn't like Windows Ten. I think they've just updated it, which might mean it's probably more compatible with Windows Ten. But I found I found that Windows Seven works absolutely fantastic. So you download that. That that comes down in a zip, uh, a zip file, and you can use um, WinZip or P PK. Un if you haven't got WinZip and they try to charge you for it, you can go to PK Unzip, which is a free download, and that will unzip everything for you. You then install it. The box where it comes in, basically looks like that and when you look at all the kit and everything in there it's very 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 daunting so what i'm going to suggest is i'm going to just open up the first bit piece and what we need to have is the actual signal generator which is this blue box here the bigger one so we open that up and take that out it's packing just drop everything on the floor for five minutes and there we have it here now you have noticed there's a screen load of buttons and a knob for turning and all this up forget all that don't that that doesn't think the only thing we have to worry about are these two here okay so the first things to do is now this comes in this packet here and it comes out and it looks like this and it's a signal um, amplifier or something like that. I, we don't we don't understand how our TVs work. We don't understand how our cars really work even anymore. We do we may understand the internal combustion engine slightly. We may understand some slight sort of basic, you know, sort of log it things. But this acceptance acceptance is the key here. We are not trying to become technicians. We are just going to set this up for thing now. This has out one and out two here. Out one, out two. So we marry these two up. Now they've got two lugs on the top, on the bottom, each one, one on top and bottom, both sides. So you marry those up and you just push those on like that and you twist them to lock them in at the back there. Twist and lock them in just there. And there you have that set up. That's all you need to do. OK, now the next thing to add to it is the remote generator. Now, today, this is just a very, very basic setup. So I'm just going to give you the um, the, the white pad. And I, that comes in a, one of these like this. And it has a number 12 on it. Um, not that you can see that, actually. Actually, number 12. And I will open this up and we'll show you how to add that one. up there you go and out that comes and here we have this okay it's got the white pad on the top okay that's going to be a magnet in there it's going to be some kind of coil and some kind of um well for thing and you notice it's got the same lugs the same lugs on the top and bottom there okay and these go in on as you're looking at it, the far left. So line those up there like that. Line it up like that and twist it on there. And once you get it in there, just twist it in. And there you go. It locks in. And that's basically what your spooky should look like. OK, now if we go to the rear of it, we have um, the USB. We have an on off switch and we have a power switch. OK, so first things first, we then find our USB cable. 
in the box and that's in a plastic thing like that take that open the plastic box up plastic you've got to love the plastic haven't you yes too much plastic in this world really i don't know you know is it a natural you know substance who knows right square end into there bish bash bosh now this end goes into the laptop the one where we have the um the the software loaded excuse me so we we plug that into the the uh the computer i'm plugging my one into a and next we have our power supply that comes in <coughs> another plastic bag oh god these chinese they love their plastic bags oh by the way if you are going to buy one of these if you haven't bought one of these and you're thinking of this is just a thing you're thinking of buying them um when you get when they get delivered to england you will have a notice from the customs office saying that they want an extra hundred pounds. Tell them that, you know, that's way too much. And when I complained about it, they wanted an extra hundred pounds per machine. And I, I sent them an email saying that's way, way too much. And they basically gave me, you know, gave it, they, they discounted all, all import taxes for me, which was very, very nice of them, I thought. So I got mine without any import taxes at all. I'm plugging this into a, a plug socket. And then I'm just sending it into the back of the machine, pop like that. And then you'll notice we switch it on. And it will say spooky to two channel signal generator. And then it comes alive. Okay, we now go back to the uh, software and we start looking at how to do, how to um, set up the software. See you shortly. Right, we have the generator set up. We have the software installed. Okay, so we open up. We open up the software, double click on the on the icon thing, and away she goes. And here it goes. Frequency generator found. I've I've got three, so I'm gonna say yes because I want all three to be found. Okay. And it's searching for generators. And it's loading the frequencies. Now this software is a little bit clunky, but it does what it says on the tin. Okay. And I'm sorry about the shake on this, but it does do what it says on the tin. And um, there you go. It will. It's loading all the frequencies, and it it takes a bit of time, but it will get there. And here we have it loaded. Okay. You have a button here on the left. It said advanced. Click that but that there just click that there and you will get click advance you have load programs so you know think now this is your first time using it okay so one of the ones that i found very very useful when i first came to this is i thought heal so i clicked heal it comes on remote which is where we want to be anyway click on remote and I just went to immune system st stimulation. Okay. Click on that and go through programs. And you'll notice you've got loading programs. You've got um, white blood cell stimulation, leuco leucotypogenesis stimulate, and immune system stimulation. Okay. Um, I personally um, noticed straight away that in the... 2900 different um programs there there was one right at the top or well, near the top called absent mindedness now if you're suffering from lyme this is one that you can actually do so you just double click and that adds that okay now the other one which i did was blood i i thought i just typed blood in the top search bar there and all these things came up. 
Now you can, you've got 729, so you can just drag them down. And I and I saw I didn't I saw Barbesia and Lime there, Bartonella. These are all um, things. But what I wanted to sort of look for, which which seemed to sort of like, was blood purification. And blood purify one. I just added those because I just that's all I want. Now, then the next one you've got on the top there is settings. Now, ev you don't really need to worry too much about any of this, except for it says shed schedule here, right here, it's schedule. OK, and then it says run for. And what I typed in there was. <laughs> excuse me, I typed in 50 hours, first of all. So I thought I'd run for 15, 50 hours. And I went to, then you went to, the next one across is control. Now you have this allow generator overwrites here. You have to click that. Never forget to click that. Because you, if you don't click that, you will, you will have to go right back to start again and start loading. This is where I'm saying the software is a little bit clunky. So. I, I click on that one, and if I click on number three, it probably come up number three, and away you go, and it lo lo loads up, and it says it takes three hours and nineteen seconds to run through the whole program sets of programs that we've loaded. It's, it's, it's not that clear here, but my my camera, I'm gonna have to get a better camera than this, and you have start, and just press start. And it's loading the waveforms to generator number three. And away goes generator number three. And there you will see the generator. And what you see is you will see the two LEDs flashing on the generator. OK. Right. And that is working. Now, that's all you have to do is just leave it. And what you're doing is you're stimulating your immune system here. Your white blood cell, trying to help with absent mindedness and blood purification. Basically, these things that I did, first of all, after about um, four or five hours, made me feel a bit better. I started to feel better from that. And then we have on the. On the. Um, the the remote, the spooky remote, I've put some. Um, of my um, nail clippings and tape them down and apparently that 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 helps makes it yet stronger so just use use that and away we go and um you will only ha oh yes when you have thing you will only have one of these come up so you'll only have one there but remember to type the allow generator overwrites click into that one okay now that will run for 50 hours. So that's what, two days and a bit. OK, so and then you can start to look in through and, and we can come back to another one to different programs that you can run. OK, that is fairly simple. So. So there we have it, the basic, basic setup. Um, run it. That's running. Um, I'm sorry about all the ums and ahs and the pauses. This, I've never done this properly before, anything like this before. So um, that, that's it. Um, I still apologise about the stutters. Um, if, please go back. I will try and do a much more clear one in future, but I'm just doing this one for now. And, you know, any other questions or anything like that, just type them in underneath because I will be online and I can help answer any questions or anything that I seem to have missed out. When you're getting through it, do it, try to do it live with me. And I do apologise about all the ums and ahs and the ums and the things and the scratching of the nose because I've got a cold, which is one thing that I want to run on later on. I'm going to start firing this, blasting this cold out. But the lovely thing about, you know, I had lines for seven years, never had a cold. Uh, my, all of a sudden now I've I've come out in a blinking cold, which I can live with. All right. Anyway, best of luck. Remember to love yourself. Bye.